Welcome back to today's project. When we purchased our farm, it was completely overgrown with saplings and brush. As much as this was bad, it created a natural fence to keep unwanted people and vehicles from entering. Once we cleared the trees and underbrush, we saw the need for a fence, at least at the newly exposed areas of road frontage. Since we aren't keeping livestock in, we decided to go with split rail, which in my opinion, gives a nice look and is pretty secure if the rails are screwed to the posts. The local big box store had everything we needed. not going anywhere. I laid out the fence line and paint on the ground and caught in a utility locate through 811 since I was close to the road right away. Once that was complete, I verified no changes were needed and got to it. It's a chilly early spring day, even have some snow flurries flying, but Way better to get this done now than when it's 100 degrees and 95% humidity every day. Tractor and 3 point auger really make short work of drilling the holes. I've marked the depth of white spray paint on the auger that lets me know when to stop. That way all the holes are about the same depth.
A stick that I marked keeps all the posts at the same height, and a simple string line helps me keep everything lined up. Crude but effective. three inch deck screws to secure the rails to the post. That way they can't be easily removed. A little deeper holes for the gate posts. Into the third day of the project now, and luckily it rained overnight and filled up the gate post holes with water. This makes mixing the concrete a lot easier, but working conditions not so fun. Level, brace, pour, pretty simple. Not building a piano.
using the laser level here to mark for the gates and to level the top of the gate posts. Makes it quick and easy. And my trusty trim carpentry saw to cut the tops off. The Mighty Steel O20T. I'm giving the concrete a good week to cure before hanging the gates. Better safe than sorry. In the meantime, I'm staying busy with installing these aluminum posted signs. Now that the concrete's cured, let's drill some holes for the gate hinges. I laid these out with the laser level earlier. I'm using the through post style with the nut and washer on both sides. These make adjusting so much easier. These gates came with the farm and were in pretty rough shape. I straightened them out as best I could and sanded them down. Put three coats of Rust-Oleum black and some reflective stickers and I think they turned out pretty good. I set the gate on the bottom hinge, adjust it to level, mark and drill for the top hinge. I install that upside down to prevent being able to just lift the gate off the hinges. That's my process. Right, wrong, or indifferent the way I've always done it.
As I said earlier, these through post hinges make adjusting for level way easier. Once everything has some time to settle, I'll readjust and put some Loctite on the threads. In the end, fences, gates, signs, and locks are only keeping honest people out. But we do have cameras and other systems in place to deal with potentially dishonest folks. I'm really happy with the way this project turned out. I planted some red cedars behind the fence off camera. These were left over from a work project, so I had to strike while the iron was hot. They're a native species to our area. Hopefully they'll put down some good roots before the summer heat arrives. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next project.